Let's face it, running a business isn't all sunshine and rainbows. You gotta take payments, that much is certain. But with all these point-of-sale OS systems out there, it's a jungle figuring out which one takes the biggest bite out of your hard-earned cash. Today, we're putting Clover under the microscope. So, if you're considering Clover for your business, or are just curious about their fees, then buckle up. Now, Clover isn't some shady back-alley operation. They're a reputable company offering a robust POS system with a lot of bells and whistles. Inventory management, employee tools, fancy reports, they've got it all. But like any service, there's a cost, and that cost comes in the form of fees. Here's the thing. Clover's fees aren't exactly a straightforward equation. It's more like a recipe with a few key ingredients. The final cost depends on what type of transactions you make and the specific Clover plan you choose. So, let's break down those ingredients one by one. First up, we have transaction fees. This is the percentage Clover takes from each swipe or dip of the card. And guess what? This fee can vary depending on whether you have a customer physically present with their card or if it's a more virtual situation. For in-person, card-present transactions, Clover charges anywhere between 2.3% and 2.6% of the sale amount. Now, this might seem like a small percentage, but those fractions of a percent can add up quickly, especially for high-volume businesses. But wait, there's more. On top of that percentage, Clover also tax on a flat fee of 10 cents per transaction. So, even a small $5 purchase incurs a minimum fee of 60 cents. Now, things get a little different for card not present transactions. These are situations where the customer isn't physically there with their card. Maybe it's a phone order or perhaps you have an online store. In these cases, Clover charges a flat rate of 3.5% plus the ever-present 10 cents. So, if you take a lot of online payments, this can significantly increase your processing fees compared to in-person swipes. Okay, that's the transaction fee ingredient sorted. But remember, that's just one part of the recipe. The other key component is the Clover plan you choose. Clover offers a tiered system with different plans catering to different business needs. The more expensive plans tend to come with slightly lower transaction fees. For example, their starter plan charges 2.6% plus 10 cents for in-person transactions, whereas their pricier plans offer a rate of 2.3% plus 10 cents. Now, these monthly plan fees typically range from around $14.95 to a bit higher depending on the features you need. So, there's a bit of a balancing act here. You want a plan with features that benefit your business, but you also don't want to overpay for features you'll never use, just to get a slightly lower transaction fee. Don't forget the extras. While transaction fees and monthly plan fees are the main ingredients, there can be a few other potential costs to consider. Some Clover plans might have additional fees for PCI compliance or early termination. It's always best to read the fine print before you sign on the dotted line. So, the big question, is Clover worth it? Well, that depends on your business. If you're a high-volume business that processes a lot of transactions, then the fees can definitely add up. In that case, you might want to shop around and compare Clover's rates to other POS systems. On the other hand, if you're a smaller business with occasional transactions, then Clover's user-friendly system and reasonable fees might be a good fit. Ultimately, the best way to decide is to do your research, understand your business needs, and compare Clover's offerings to other POS systems on the market. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.